Hi, I'm Chris and I'll be going through the process to set up a full chain for mode. So we go to the documentation here on how to set up a for mode and we'll, I'll be setting up a Kubernetes cluster within AWS. So let's go through the process here. So it talks about repository management and stuff like that. If we're on multiple nodes, which is not recommended, I'm going to be setting up a test node on AWS. So we need an AWS account, you can get one um, through AWS free tier, it does come with 3 gig, you need much, much more than, uh, sorry, 5 gig. And yeah, it's already started. You also need to install the um, CLI and AWS credentials, you can get the AWS credentials from your IAM uh, management console here. Uh, if you're going to be serious about it, make sure you set up uh, multi-factor authentication to FA and you'll be able to get the access keys from here. These are root keys, or you'll probably best for long-term use set up um, keys within here for specific roles. So you go through the process and um, first we'll, we'll get the client going. So if you're not familiar with Terminal, you want to get familiar with Terminal as this is required. have a folder here and get rid of my full chain and I'm going to be cloning the repo in order to bring down the files if necessary. Of course you need to get installed in order to do this. So I've done this, I'm going to go to cluster launcher. Um, I would recommend installing brew. Uh, it doesn't actually say that here, but definitely worth doing that. So then you can install Terraform using Brew, uh, AWS CLI, the IAM AWS Authenticator, uh, Kubernetes CLI, which is all required as well, as well as some additional tools here. Do go through and test to make sure you've got everything installed. So I know I have Terraform, I know I have AWS installed. I have everything installed here ready to go. Uh, and now I'm ready to go through and do my make AWS. This will go through and install whatever it needs to install. Just give it a minute to go ahead and, and do that. Whilst this is waiting, it's good to get Start recording your configuration. So I'm going to get some configuration here. I'm going to call it my test node, and that is going to be my region since I'm in Australia. So the process is completed, and it's a little bit different to the documentation now. This is quite new asking me if I want to use the data lifecycle manager. So I'm going to say false, don't want to do that. I'm going to enter the name of the cluster I want to create. I'm going to call it my test node, this is the original. Name and we've got here the region AP Southeast 2. So this is using Terraform, which is infrastructure code to create the AWS backend that will be then deploying the Thor node. So this is verifying what's going to happen. So you'll type yes, and this will take some time. Okay, so it took about 20 minutes, but it is now completed, 37 resources added. Just have a look down here at the documentation. Yeah, more about 25, you know, odd minutes. So right now we need to configure the EKS cluster to work with Kubernetes. So to do that, just copy this. Put this into a string. 
that. Right, capitalization by the look of it. So this updates the Kubernetes configuration. So that way my Kubernetes installation can work with my cluster inside of AWS. Very important step. Right, now we've done that, it is time to move on to the deployment phase. So we've set up the cluster inside of AWS. We've essentially set up the infrastructure and now it is time to deploy the um, deploy my pods. So here we go. So we need to have this. Copy, paste. Tweets, now we're going to make tools. This will take some time. Again, let it go, do its thing. And you'll want to look at getting something like what's been documented here, no errors, that type of thing. Don't be concerned if it looks like it's hung or frozen, it does that. Just give it a lot of time to do its thing, it will eventually complete. Okay, all the tools have been installed, so now time to move on to the next step. So as it says here, we can do a test net or a chaos net. Really the difference is just the command and chaos net, you'll need to enter a password if you go down that process of getting that path. I'll be setting up a test net here, um, but the process is the same. Obviously with CalSnet, it's using yeah, real room, real money. Um, but for the purpose of this video, we'll be using test net with you know, fake room, fake money. And again, just give this time to, to go through the process. If it was ChaosNet, it would ask me for a password, which would need to secure. But uh, obviously for testnet, we won't have that. Okay, so the process is finished. Everything's been installed that needs to be installed. And we are pretty much ready to start the joining process. So I'm just gonna go back and have a look something down below so this is how you can validate it to get all the pods of course it's been a while so these are all the pods that are running um, we can see that everything's good you can get logs um, and more information, you can delete pods as well if, if they're having an error or stuff like that. Um, but everything they seems to be running good. We run a make status and then it should say we've got a pre-flight error and we're looking good. So that's good, all right, syncing, everything's syncing up. You will need to get your four chain and Binance chains both at 100% syncing before you would want to start the joining process. I'm sure it says it here somewhere. So moving on to joining. So we're gonna make status. Um, there it says, make sure your floor node is fully synced. 
with connected chains. Whilst we're waiting on, on this to happen, you will need to set up a testnet account and you can do that through the BEPSwap Telegram bot. Just check in the name here, it's BEPSwap bot. And then that way you put in get wallet, it will send you a wallet. You might have a bit of um, uh, test BNB and test room there. So from here, we just need to wait until all the chains are synced and that may take several hours for that to happen. So we'll leave it here and we'll come back to it once all the chains have synced.